and we'd like to welcome you to the second of the Introduction to the NV Series webinars from Nautel here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I'd say good afternoon, it seems natural, but in fact there's people from all over the world viewing this. So to some of you, good morning, to some of you, good afternoon, and some of you are in Europe and staying up in the middle of the night, good evening. Um, we, we've got an exciting presentation for you today. This is an important week for Nautel uh, because we're introducing the largest series of new transmitters in our company's history. Our company's history, coincidentally, is 40 years this week, and we're very proud of that here at Nautel. So I'd like to talk a little bit. I have with me Mr. Scott Marchand, who is here to, to explain from the engineering perspective the, the development of the MV series and what he's been able to accomplish with this, tra with this transmitter and with this uh, product introduction. So our agenda today will be an introduction of Nautel. We'll meet the MV series. We'll talk about the engineering story, how we got to this point, and we'll talk a little bit about WIIFM, what's in it for me. It's really the payload. It's really what, what, what the new Nautel MV series can do for you. I'm Chuck Kelly, the Director of Sales of Nautel, and with me, as I mentioned, is Scott Marchand. Hello, everyone. Scott, nice to have you here today. Um, this is, as I mentioned, the 40th anniversary of Nautel. And on the left side of the screen, hopefully, you'll all be able to see the founders of Nautel, uh, a group of engineers that believe very strongly in an idea. And that idea was you can have reliable transmitters, cost effective, and all solid state. No need for any tubes. Um, Nautel is located in, ha in Halifax, Nova Scotia, actually Hackett's Cove, right on, on uh, St. Margaret's Bay. Uh, on, the, on the Atlantic Ocean in the northeast corner of America, of the Americas, I should say. And um, it's a picturesque place with lots of trees and right on the ocean, known for, for vacationers and lobsters. And now it's known for transmitters. And uh, as I said, it's our 40th anniversary. Forty years ago, we were introducing the first solid-state transmitters. You see the ad from 1972. If you read further in that ad, um, it has a quote here, and it says, there will be for some who for the next decade will cling tenaciously to the concept that RF power is inseparable from evacuated glass bottles, heated filaments, and cherry red anodes. For those who thinking is, whose thinking is not so committed, Nautel wishes to introduce their family of totally solid state transmitters. That was 40 years ago. You can see, actually, the first AMFET-1 there on the right-hand side, the first one kilowatt solid state FM. This year, uh, this is the engineering team here at Nautel that worked with Scott to develop the new MV series. Scott, how many engineers do we have in the, in the design department these days? Just shy of 40 at 39, Chuck. That's pretty large for a company in this business. Most organizations don't have that size of an engineering team. Well, to be this diverse uh, in this marketplace, it requires uh, a lot of specialties. There's a lot of things going on at Nautel today, not just new developments and new engineering, but we're also expanding the organization to keep pace with the growth. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll see building number seven. That's a, a, a picture which was taken just a month ago, or actually three weeks ago, and it shows building number seven being built on the property here, our seventh building, and this is necessary in order to keep up with demand. Below that, you'll see our, for our new punch. It's a, uh, we made a million dollar investment in new uh, infrastructure, new technology to help us construct the transmitters more efficiently um, uh, and also keep up the demand and keep the quality very high. Million dollars worth of new equipment. Below that is kind of a little um, <clears throat> embarrassing moment for Nautel. And those of you that are broadcast engineers in the industry will remember the first time you put a new transmitter in your building and you woke up in the middle of the night sweating saying, gosh, I wonder if I measured the door to make sure I'll be able to get the transmitter in. Well, we didn't. And uh, when we tried to bring in the new equipment, we had to notch a hole in the side of the building in order to make the punch fit. So those of you who uh, enjoy Snickers will, will enjoy pulling one over on us. So we fast forward to April 2008, the NAB in Las Vegas, and we introduced the MV40. And Scott, your baby got the 
2008 Pick Hit Award from Radio Magazine. How'd that make you feel? Uh, it was an extremely proud moment, Chuck. I think everyone here was very proud. It was an exciting day for everybody. Um, today, what we're doing is expanding that from 44 kilowatts all the way down to 3.5 kilowatts. Scott, you want to introduce the new family? Well, obviously, we've been very busy. Uh, we have the NV40 on the far right, uh, followed by the 30, 20, 15, 10, 7.5, 5, 3.5. It goes on. It just seems like it fills in every gap that there could possibly be with a family. It's a broad range of products, and there's something for everybody. Um, Scott, these are the specifications of the NV. You want to talk about maybe what the more uh, impressive specifications are from your perspective? Well, I think most people would be interested with the hybrid minus 20 and minus 10 efficiency specifications. I think we are compete, competing, if not exceeding, the market expectations for those efficiencies. And of course, our 64% uh, and 61% for uh, an extremely impressive number as well. Yep. And I think probably at the bottom where we talk about the width and the depth of the product, that's really amazing. Yeah, the footprint is, uh, is exceptional. <clears throat> Let's talk about the innovations of the NV series. Well, we took a different approach uh, going forward. We realized people uh, wanted to have more metering, telemetry, and we decided to go with uh, it's our advanced user interface, uh, which is our 17-inch touchscreen. Um, it, it literally puts the controls at the fingertips of the, of the user. Um, another thing is our uh, superior exciter design. It's integrated, which differs from our conventional systems. Um, the, the, the no tuning, no element in this transmitter is, tuning, is tuned to any specific uh, frequency. It is a broadband uh, transmitter. So um, redundancy, remote access, and an ultra-compact footprint were, were you know, some of the many features that this transmitter family had to offer. That's great. Now let's talk about specifically that footprint. I mean, this is a, a pretty amazing graphic. We're comparing against two very, very strong competitors, the BEFM20S, the Harris ZD20 CD, but the, the MV20 is much, much smaller than either of those products. Yes, yeah, it's very, very noticeable with this slide. And that's not just something just for fun. That's, that's actually, val it has value in a, in a transmitter site. These days, Transmitter site space is, is very valuable, and, and people are putting more and more things in those so in those rooms. So if I can if I can fit this transmitter much smaller space, I've got room for racks for HD equipment or what have you. It makes it very very valuable. That's right. When you when you got the 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 responsibility to develop the new NV series from the ground up, what were the things you were looking to accomplish? Well, I mean the philosophy here at Nautel is always keep the customer on air. Um, you know, we, we had to factor in redundancy, uh, HD radio performance, of course, as that is where the market is going. Um, the providing the customer with test tools and troubleshooting aids uh, was was a major uh, element as part of the advanced user interface. And of course, size matters, so uh, we had to go down in size in this case. But uh, smaller footprints were very important. Okay. I want to talk about this integral test equipment for a second. Some people have asked us, why did we go to the, <coughs> pardon me, the extent of integrating the test equipment in there? And it, it, you know, many times, if you go to a radio stations these days, a lot of them don't have a lot of test equipment. And for this type of technology with the digital age, it's more and more required. So building it in really at no extra cost to the end user, having a spectrum analyzer, for instance, or a constellation view, are, these are things that are very, very important. And the other part that's interesting is, that with the, with the AUI's capability of remote viewing, it means the factory, for instance, can look over your shoulder and see that test equipment for itself. That's right. I mean, if, if we were to gain access to that site, we could quite literally walk their transmitter through specific tests and diagnostics to help them find any problems that they might have. 